Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Vol Report. Reminder, this is for education purposes only, should not be considered investment advice, options have risk. Well, here we are. We got some great earnings out of the stocks the last couple of days. Take a look. Netflix is off to the races. They had good earnings. Uh, Goldman breaking the trend of some of the other financials of late. Uh, J&J had good earnings, um, although they're down a little bit. They're up pre-market. We continue just to show strength, and the SPX is now approaching. Um, the SPX is now approaching its 250-day uh, moving average, which has been a, a really good resistance. You know, they actually have it now over. Um, you know, they have the 50-day at uh, 2689, so they have us through. So if you look at where we are. Um, we're either going to revert back to 2690 or we could be making a serious run above 2700 here. That's that's the way things are pricing. And with that, we're getting a nice crunch in volatility. Uh, the VIX is down a point. VXX is down big. Uh, it's now almost back to 40. Um, and you're seeing the RUT have some strength, the, the Dow being kind of the leader and the NDX. So you know, we continue to see some strength out of these industrial names. Um, you know, Apple looks strong. Amazon up big today. Uh, Caterpillar looking nice. Even even some of the, you know, Deer, some of these other names look pretty good. Facebook, basically across the board, outside of Johnson Johnson, things are up and strong. IBM ahead of earnings is moving. So as a whole, the market looks pretty bullish here. Um, we're at a major inflection point. I would be less than shocked if we saw a little bit of resistance here and if we didn't bounce around a little bit. But my gut says that we're going to break through higher, not lower. We may test as the day goes through, but I don't, I don't think uh, it's going to be a very long test. They're, the way they're taking down volatility um, in a slow, methodical manner and the way the market is not exploding higher but is just methodically rallying. Uh, points toward, I think we've worked out a, a big piece of uh, some of the pain we had over the last um, over the last uh, a couple of months. So I would be less than shocked if we didn't have um, a sub 15 settle tomorrow or a sub, you know, who knows, uh, over the next couple of days. Um, and I think by Friday we could see a VIX back uh, back in the low 14s. That's it's the way things are pricing. Obviously, things could change. There's always news that can come out. Um, but I, you know, we are pricing ourselves like uh, like the, the kind of big pop in fear is over. Uh, I'm going to be watching J&J &J and Netflix. I'm going to price out some IBM today. And uh, I'm going to look at SPX and uh, the NASDAQ. All right, folks, because uh, my triple Q trade is now doing pretty well now that we finally got a really nice pop here in the queues. All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoption.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.